Hello, I'm Veronica Ward, and in this video I'm going to go over dialogues in Power Amps. Um, I just want to start out by providing some basic information about when to use them um, and when not to use them, and some guidelines to follow uh, if you are making one. Um, just make sure that you're including only the information users need to make a decision. Don't clutter your dialogue with a whole bunch of extra stuff. <clears throat> just the basic information. Um, use sparingly because they disrupt the user experience. Um, the flow is really important and you don't want to overload uh, the user with constant interruptions. Uh, consider the importance of information you want to share. Is it important enough to interrupt the user? If it is, go for it. Create a dialogue. Uh, prompt them with the question at hand. Um, if not, you might want to consider something else. Uh, consider how frequently the information needs to be shown. If you're showing a dialogue or notification every few minutes, you might want to allocate space for this in the primary UI. Uh, what I mean by this is <clears throat> if you've created an app and you want the user to make a lot of decisions through a dialogue, I would maybe consider just using a page navigation instead you don't want them constantly being interrupted because as I said the flow is important you don't want to aggravate users with a whole bunch of dialogues it's just going to frustrate them and it's better to just get a whole bunch of information out in the open rather than dialogues that are constantly being prompted if you expect the user to perform a particular action frequently consider providing a way for the user to undo the action uh, that is possible in power apps and I would advise doing that in some instances if you can because um, <clears throat> you don't want to force the user to confirm an action every single time uh, if, if it's going to be happening frequently. Uh, I would suggest doing an undo if, if you're coming across that situation. Uh, avoid complex decision making that requires additional sources of information that aren't available in the dialogue. Uh, so if there's information that's on another screen and your dialogue is on another screen as well and it's not provided in the dialogue, <clears throat> I would say you might want to consider a redesign because uh, you want to make sure that all of the information is right out in the open and easily accessible to the user. Because if it's not, then that can make things complicated and frustrate the user and you want to make a good experience for people using your app. Um, avoid generic button labels like okay make sure that it's really clear what action is going to happen when the user clicks a specific button so make sure that it's something obvious like save delete cancel download view print anything like that whatever makes sense to your app just as long as it's not too generic so that the user knows what to expect when they click a button uh, don't overwhelm the user with too many buttons in a dialogue I would suggest doing no more than three buttons if you're using a dialogue. And if you find yourself in a situation where you think your dialogue does need more than three buttons, I would suggest considering redesigning your app so that it's not a dialogue, so that maybe it's a page navigation instead. Okay, <clears throat> so those are some basic information about using dialogues. Um, and this link will take you to a post about how to create a dialogue in Power Apps through a series of step-by-step -step instructions. I would suggest checking this post out, but I'll also go through uh, the app that's created within this post uh, and show you what was done in order to create the dialogue. Uh, this post also goes over how to design for specific platforms. If that was what you wanted to do, uh, what I mean by that is an iPhone dialogue can look a little bit different than an Android dialogue and Power Apps works on both platforms so it's important to consider how you want your dialogue to look. If your app is only being used by Android users you can use that Android dialogue but, but if it's used by multiple devices you know your team has all different kinds of phones. You might want to just create a generic look um, by using a version of the Android dialogue and just creating what works best for you. <laughs> okay. 
So this is the app that is attached to the blog post. Uh, and what this app does is it lists all of the branches of a specific franchise and just lets you know what their uh, contact information is. It just helps store it. Um, and in this post, I have a dialogue already existing. And what I've done to create this dialogue is I set the on visible event of this page to um, have a context variable that says update context show pop-up equals false uh, comma error equals false. Uh, what this is saying is just that if if you click from the previous screen onto this one, uh, it's not going to show the pop-up because the or dialog the dialog is prompted by the on select of the delete button because <clears throat> what this particular dialog is doing is asking the user to confirm that they do want to delete this particular branch um, from the, the list. And then the on select of the of this delete button has the update context show pop up equals true. Uh, and what's that? What that's doing is saying to the app, "Hey, please show everything that has a visibility property of show pop up." So, if you wanted to delete something, then Anything that you have the visibility property set to show pop up means that it'll it'll display all of those uh, controls. So when I select delete, everything that was set will show up like this: <clears throat> show pop up in the visibility property. Everything's grouped. Um, but if you click on the individual uh, controls, you'll notice that all of them do have the same visible property, which is show pop-up. Um, and this is the Android phone. Um, what's different from an Android dialog as opposed to um, an iPhone dialog is just how the, the look of it is displayed. And I can open the blog post to explain further. So this is what an iPhone dialog looks like. It's relatively similar. Um, the main difference is that the text is semi-bold uh, as opposed to normal uh, seen in the Android. There's also a deeper drop shadow. Um, and some dividers. It's marginally different, so if you wanted to create your own version, I would suggest starting with the Android dialog and editing however you like. You may prefer non-text buttons in your dialog. <clears throat> However, I would advise these text buttons, um, in particular using these blue text buttons. Um, and then the on select of the this delete button will also update to um, hide the dialogue because it's confirming that you're deleting it and you no longer need to see this message anymore. Uh, cancel will close the dialogue and complete everything. Um, one thing I want to point out is that all dialogues should have um, a background overlay to obstruct all of the content uh, on the page beneath the dialogue. You want to keep it somewhere in this opacity. I've set it to 0.6 because if you go any higher, it's, it's a bit dark and you do want users to see some of that content behind there just so that they have a frame of reference of just context. And if it was any lighter, it, it doesn't really serve a lot of purpose. And you, 
you want it to serve a purpose. You want to focus the user's attention on the dialogue that's being presented to them so that they're not distracted by everything beneath it. So I suggest point six. Um, and that is pretty much it. You're welcome to use your own um, text settings or label settings. I've set it to match everything that I've done within the app itself so that this label control is, is taking all of the properties from these other label controls. Because you do want the text consistent. You by no means have to follow all of these settings, though I would advise using this particular font size, which is uh, 20. You can use uh, whatever font you prefer. I'm using Sego. Um, I would advise using anything but great vibes or uh, dancing script. Just keep it clean and easy to read. Oh, and that's it. That is Dialogues and Power Apps. Thank you.